Hello everyone, I'm Robert, and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Shrine Guide for She Beneath. We'll unwrap how to unlock the puzzle in this shrine and find the hidden chest. This shrine is located on the north side of the Dueling Peaks and has a twin shrine on the south. You'll also notice there's a Korok seed on the map there. I'll tell you how to get to that at the end of the guide. The complicated answer on the solution to the shrine is that both of them need to have their spheres placed into the divots to mirror where the other shrine spheres start out located on the 5x5 grid. Quick answer is, here's the solution on the screen right now. I'll go ahead and replay that for you a couple of times. I know you came here for the answers, not for me. So place the balls in this pattern and go collect your spirit orb. Hit that like button for me on the way out the door though, please. Or you could stick around and I'll show you how to grab the chest too. As you descend down into the shrine, the plaque tells you what you need to do. Treating the entrance of the shrine as the bottom, from left to right, we need to place the balls. Three up, five up, two up, four up, and one up. So we just have to move the balls from the positions they're in already to the ones that I just listed off. I noticed I misplaced one orb initially and had to move it up one position. Ta-da! Now the door's open. You could leave now, but if you do, you're missing out on a nice item. So take this elevator up and you can go collect the chest. I went to the other end of this platform to give you a good view of the solution. You don't need to do this. If you did though, take the elevator back up and at the top, jump and use your glider. Make sure to hug the wall as tight as you can and congrats, you now have a serpentine spirit to add to your collection. And if you think I was able to do this on the first time, you are sorely mistaken. From here, Jump down and run across the room and through the now open door. Be careful not to bump a sphere out of position like I just did because the gate will close and then immediately reopen once the sphere settles back in. It doesn't do anything bad other than you get locked in an animation that slows you down. Head up the ladder and collect your orb. Also, don't forget to grab that Korak seed I showed you on the map earlier. All you need to do is climb up for the shrine and you'll see three rocks form a triangle. Push them down the hill and the Korak will give you a seed. If you enjoyed this video or found value from it, make sure you hit that like button for me. Thanks for watching and until next time.